my big willow oaks but being so close to this tree line the tree is growing lopsided all the limbs are over on that side and nothing is growing to here because of all these trees so what i want to do all of these saplings lay in low ground and in the winter time it makes it hard to do anything in here so i'm actually going to push the tree line back this is perfect for the 35g but anyway let's get started guys you know me let's get busy so guys, anytime that you're using an excavator, one of the things you want to be sure you do is on every time you use it, uh, you want to grease the fittings on the head where the bucket is. There are four major pivot points there that have four different fittings uh, for the movements there. That, they include the bucket and for the thumb. Absolutely do that every single time because that is the workingest part of your machine uh, is the end out where your bucket is doing all the pivoting. As you can see, the dirt is just in perfect condition uh, to do this type of work. I got so lucky to be able to do that on this particular day. Um, it made it a lot easier. I didn't have to work the machine quite as hard, and it was uh, easy for me to get the bucket down into the dirt deep enough to grab and pull the trees up root, root and the root ball and all. Uh, so it only took a, not that long of a time to get all this done. And as you can see, once I'm done digging, I usually take the excavator with the blade, cover up the hole that I'm working, and then kind of move forward and just continue to pick the trees and uh, knock them down. Uh, once I get them down, I usually try to pivot them over to the side and try to do some form of a stack. And that way it'll make it much easier for me a little bit later on uh, once I get out of the excavator to get the tractor with the grapple to pick this stuff up and carry it away. Now this particular day is probably the first time I've been able to get in the excavator in over a month. It was such a pleasure and just a great day to get out working the project and uh, working in the wood lines the way I was. Now one of the things I want to show you here, this was taught to me by a friend of mine, is you take your teeth, you reach over and you hook it, you pull, and then watch me bring the thumb down. Once I bring the thumb down, I've got it and then I can just pick it all up in one piece. Thanks, Lynn. That was a great thing you taught me there, bud. Well, guys, that wasn't much more than about an hour, and I was able to run through there. I got this opened up quite a bit. I don't know yet if this is as far as I want to go with it, uh, but what I need to do now is I need to go uh, put the grapple on the tractor, grab the chainsaw, uh, cut these up into manageable size pieces and start carrying this off start cleaning out what I've got and Then I'll get a better look at what else I need to do One thing I wanted to share with you guys is on my tractor it came standard as obviously a two function bucket. In order to work a grapple you've got to convert it to a three function and I did that by a converter box. It was from a company called WR Long. I ordered it online. I saw it on a YouTube video and actually watched a guy walk it through on my exact tractor. So I literally laid on the ground, I'd watch uh, about 30 seconds of the video and then I would do it on my tractor. I'd watch about 30 more seconds on the video, and I was able to do this installation myself. It was confusing at first, but once I did it, it all made perfect sense, and it was a piece of cake to do. So, anyway, just thought I'd share it.
So as you can see, the 35G is great uh, device for pulling up, especially the sapling sized trees. Uh, you know, if you're gonna get into much bigger than that, you're gonna need something with a little bit more weight and more horsepower. But for this, it's a perfect, perfect tool for the job. And then as well, the 3032 tractor, uh, the John Deere 3032, um, that with the grapple on the front is just fantastic for picking up all the debris. So really tickled I got this job done. Now we've got the spacing for up here that now this tree can work and grow and bloom this way. Uh, it doesn't have all those tree limbs that was blocking its way. So hopefully this tree will balance itself out much better. And uh, I just think it looks so much nicer with a little bit of spacing through here. Well guys, it's so great to get that project finished. Uh, love working with the 35G and the 3032 compact tractor. They're just a great combo for getting those types of work done. Glad that project's behind me. And uh, as you know, here at Project Next One, there's always another one to go. So be on the lookout. If you get a chance, guys, I'll throw it up in the end screens. And it's actually looking at the project I did where I gave the whole front of my house a facelift. It included redoing my landscaping lights, updating my river rock, adding some special areas to that, uh, adding new uh, shrubberies and stuff. And that was a big, long project. If you haven't seen it, I'll throw it in the end screens here and hope you'll check that out. Well, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Guys, take care. We'll see you soon.